Good morning, everyone. How you doing today? I'm glad to see you guys are doing well. I hope you are anyway. Of course, I can't really see you, but if you're on my channel, you must be okay. Uh, my name's Jackie. Uh, my channel, of course, if you're on it, Crafty JJ Newton. And I'm glad you're with me if you're new. And if you've been with me, I'm glad you're back. Um, I'm going to do a share today. I got uh, this in the mail. I picked it up yesterday. I've actually tried to video this two times. And yesterday I just... I guess I just wasn't in the mood because nothing. It I didn't like the way it looked, didn't like the way I sounded, and you know I'm not gonna do it if I'm not at kind of my best. Anyway, this is from Lori Seabrook. It's her entry to my challenge. She sent me a beautiful icy card. In this beautiful napkin which I haven't seen any of these this summer so I was glad to get this I'm gonna be doing a flip book so I might just use that um, this is her card it says born to shop and I I don't know about you ladies but I love to window shop I can go and spend a lot of time in a craft store or a grocery store or any kind of store really and just look I love to look because you get so many ideals you know on how to do things what to do um, yeah I like looking anyway I uh, I'll share a few things with you guys. Uh, Lori Seabrook's channel is the same as her name, Lori Seabrook. Um, her favorite colors is green and pink. Uh, she likes vintage, Persian, I think that's correct. Shabby chic or French country. Um, favorite medium is paper. Favorite crafts, making paper flowers and, and altering items. Upcycle T2T. Um, she says she would like to try mixed media. Me too. I've been kind of trying some stuff, but I haven't got there yet. Uh, making more cards. Me too. I don't think I make enough. I want to try getting better at it. Um... Making crochet dolls and animals. I can crochet a blanket and a scarf. I can knit a scarf or a blanket. But I don't think I could do dolls or animals. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, favorite candy, snow caps and dark chocolate. And her favorite holiday is Christmas, not Halloween, girl. I don't celebrate Halloween. Um... My kids used to dress up, and I would take them trick-or-treating. But by the time they were teenagers, they didn't have an interest in it. And we really didn't do that much decorating. We put pumpkins on the front porch. And we just did local trick-or-treating, just family and friends and neighbors that we knew. Even back then, you just, you, you, it just wasn't safe. Um... Christmas, now I love decorating for Christmas. I put my village out. I decorate uh, at Thanksgiving, probably the day before, sometimes two or three days before. And I keep my stuff up until well, well after New Year's. And since I don't work, I'm not in a hurry to take it down. Because I like the lights. I like sitting in my living room with all the lights out and just my Christmas lights on in my Christmas village, it gives me a peaceful feeling. And so I like to do that. Um, 
Favorite quote? Life is not measured by the breath we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. I agree with that, too. Yep. I really like your card. And I love the quote. I have gotten some really nice quotes in Bible verses. Uh, Miss Lori, you are number 34 in my drawing. And then she sent me an envelope. It has wish on it. Um, she had gotten some um, doll stamps. And I had wished for some. And she granted my wish. So I'm going to share them. And she was, uh, in her note, she was telling me, you know, scan them in my computer or print them out, copy them. And I don't know how to scan them into my computer, but my daughter, she would know. So she'll help me with that. That's a good idea. And then I can uh, maybe put them in my silhouette library and print them out and do it that way. They're pretty. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is going to be fun to to color with uh, my color pencils. And I have uh, the gel pens. It's going to be fun. Excuse me. I made me some tea. I coffeeed myself out this morning. But I wanted something warm. It's kind of been kind of cool here the last couple of days. And as you see, you know, I got long sleeves on and usually I'm burning up. But I made me some tea. I love this one. This one is really pretty. This will be pretty on a Christmas card or um, if you're doing bookmarks. I bet it would be pretty on, on a, a big tag. Or I could keep going. Yeah, there's some really cool ideas. There's another one. My nose itches. You know, the old saying is, if your nose itches, somebody's come with a hoe in her britches. Well, mom always said that her, her mom always told her, which was my grandmother, always told them uh, when they would get an itchy nose and they would say, somebody's come with a hoe in her britches. She always told them the first one that said it had to patch it. So... They kept their mouth shut because nobody wanted to patch somebody else's hoe. You know, because back then, them farmers working with the plows and the horses, you know, they always got hoes in their coveralls. It was pretty. Because I grew up on the farm, and this girl knows how easy it is to get your pants snagged. So, that's all I got from Miss Lori. That was her entry. And thank you, Lori. I'm glad that um, I got it and got you entered. Hayden's with me today. Hayden, would you like to say hi? You want to come? You can just wave and come over here. Want to climb up? I need some more pop. You want some more pop? Just a little bit. Okay, let 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 me say bye to to my uh, people, and I'll be right there. Bye. <laughs> I'll be right there. My daughter started college uh, before her before Hayden's school started, so she's already in school, and I got Hayden this week, so I'm babysitting all week. But anyway, I'm going to get off of here, and I'll catch you guys later. I will be back before the day's over. Bye-bye.